Start date 10, 19, 20, 47. This is Captain J.T. Bird of the Starship Chronotron. The Cron is a super deluxe LFO waveform generator, and it's been giving me a bit of trouble lately, so I wanted to make a tutorial about the note quantizer and the pattern sequencer. I noticed some others online had a little trouble too, so I thought it'd be helpful to show what I've learned. Love to go into the details about this thing. It's awesome, but I just wanna do this quickly. So I've got a mostly initialized cron here. For the pattern sequencer part, you use the quants. Out of quant one goes in the gate of the VO1. Down here, you need to pick what waveform will be your pattern filter. And you want weighted gate hits selected there. So waveform one, keep it simple. I'm gonna put it on four steps. And I want this set to quarter notes. And that should do it. Let's see. Yeah. And then see, this will be your velocity control. Okay. One more thing. I'll put it through an envelope to uh, make it a little more instrument like. And then you turn the envelope on. And. Okay, so now for the note part, we'll use LFO1 right here. So the out of LFO1 goes into the note. And over here, you gotta pick quantize to custom waveform. And then right here, you wanna pick what waveform you're gonna use to do that. Wave 2 we'll use. So you go to wave two, and you see the notes here. I'm gonna put it on 12, so it just shows one scale. Snap on, zero it out. Then I want C, F, G, and B flat. Okay. So let's hear what that sounds like. For now, I'm going to leave the LFO on the big old sine wave so you can hear what that does. So if you put it on unipolar, you get more workable values. I'm going to put this on 4-4. Uh, four, four. That makes one whole cycle equal to four quarter notes because the pattern has four steps. And then if you bring this down, you get more workable levels. Okay. But now what if you want to pick specific notes? The best way to do that is to use a custom waveform. So I'll use wave three. Here I'll go to wave three. Turn this down to the four steps. Put this on steps. And now let's hear what that sounds like. Okay. So you can see it's not quite like a traditional sequencer, but it works pretty well. It has a lot of flexibility, but it's fairly tedious to pick 
if you wanted to do like a long sequence with a lot of specific individual notes. But I still think it's pretty useful and cool if you apply it in situations where you would like some semi unpredictability, like this example here. <laughs> So there you have it. Hope that helps. Thanks for flying. <laughs>